Hello everyone, it's PC Helper here and today I'll be showing you how to fix hyping issues and online lag for the game League of Legends in few simple steps. First of all, I would like to thank you all as my channel recently completed 11,000 subscribers and it means a lot to me. And if you haven't subscribed yet then please hit the subscribe button now for regular gaming content and some pretty cool giveaways in future too. Also I'll be linking some of the coolest gaming accessories you can have in the description of this video including some gaming laptops, mouse and other accessories. So if you're interested in buying any of it then just have a look at it too. Now let's get started without any further ado. So the first most basic thing that works for almost everyone is that you should try running your game with the help of WT Fast. The main purpose of this software is to fix online lag and hyping issues but it is the most helpful software to fix server issues too. But using it is a bit complicated so I've already made a guide on how to run any game using this software. I'll provide the link of that video in the description of this one so you can easily watch it. So just run your game using WT Fast and your problem will most probably be fixed but if you're still facing this issue then proceed to the next step. This step is a really important step and I consider this step to be a mandatory one before performing any further steps. So in this step we'll be clean booting our PC and what clean booting does is it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts in your PC too. And clean booting is different from restarting your PC so if you don't know how to clean boot your PC then I've already made a guide on how to do so. I'll provide you the link of that video in the description of this one and it is a really quick guide of 4 minutes. So just watch that video, clean boot your PC and then proceed to the further steps. This step is a really useful step and it has helped many users in fixing this problem. So first of all what you have to do is, you just have to go to your command prompt. So just search for cmd on your start menu and go to command prompt. In command prompt, search for ping, type ping 1.1.1.1 and once you have done that, press enter. So it will take some time, it will just analyze the ping at 1.1.1.1 and as you can see, average ping is 11ms. Now what you have to do is, you have to type ping 8.8.8.8 and press enter. And it will again calculate the average ping. So let's wait for it and request timeout and here it is. The average ping here is 17ms. So as you can see, there is a clear difference between this DNS server and this DNS server. 11ms is way better than 17ms so what you have to do is you just have to see which one is better for you and just remember that DNS and now go to your network connections so search for view network connections so just go to view network connections here as you can see and here you have to go to your current network to which you are connected right now so I'm connected to my Wi-Fi just double click on your Wi-Fi if you're connected to your Wi-Fi or you can just select your Ethernet if you're connected to your Ethernet and go to your properties in properties you have to select internet protocol version 4 and click on ok oh click on properties not click on ok click on properties and in properties by default it is on obtain dns server address automatically you have to select use the following dns server address and in preferred dns server you have to enter the dns which was better for you so in my case 1.1.1.1 was better for me so I'll press 1.1.1.1 and if 1.1.1 was better for you too so you have to do the same 1.0.0.1 so that's it for this step but just in case 8.8.8 .8 was better for you then you just have to change it to 8.8.8.8 .8 and alternate DNS server to 8.8.4.4 and click on OK once you have done that, that's it for this step. It will be really helpful and it has fixed this problem for many users. Now let's proceed to the next step. This step is again a really important one. In this step, we'll be forwarding ports. So if you don't know how to forward ports, so first of all, search on Google League of Legends port and go to this website called portforward.com where it's written how to open a port in your router for League of Legends. Once you will open this link, you will be redirected to this website and here scroll down and you will see League of Legends PC and here you will see TCP ports and UDP ports. So first of all, let's copy the TCP ports. And if you don't want to visit this website, then I will provide you both these TCP and UDP ports in the description of this video. And you can just copy it from there. So first of all, let's just copy TCP ports. I've copied them. And now in your start menu, search for firewall and go to Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security. Go to this. Once you have clicked on it, it will take a few seconds to load. And inside it, you have to click on inbound rules on this left hand side, as you can see. And then on the right hand side you have to click on new rule. And here you have to select port because we are forwarding port so we have to select port here. Click on next. And here as we have just copied the TCP ports so select TCP and paste the TCP ports here. Click on next. Allow the connection. 
click on next domain private public select everything click on next and here give it the name league of legends once you have done that click on finish and now let's copy the udp ports these also i will provide in the description of the video so you can just copy it from there and again create a new rule and here again select port again click on next here this time instead of tcp we will be selecting udp and paste them here paste the udp ports here click on next allow the connection click on next domain private public select everything click on next and again give it the name league of legends and once you have done that that's it for port forwarding it will definitely help you with the ping issues and also the server issues in this game but if you're still facing this problem then proceed to the next step if in this step we'll be flushing our dns so this step also seemed to fix this problem for many users so, and to perform this step you just have to go to your cmd again that is command prompt and once you'll open it you just have to type ip config space then give a slash backslash and flush dns I'm just confused is, is it a backslash or forward slash I'm just confused so whichever it is IP config space slash and then flush DNS and once you've typed it press enter and it will see you will see on your screen windows IP configuration successfully flush the DNS resolver cache and that's it for this step it is that simple try running your game and most probably you will see a difference if you are facing high ping then it will also help in that case and if you're facing any server error it might fix that problem too. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video then please leave a like on this video. If you have any doubt write in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe to PC Helper for regular gaming content. Thank you and have a nice day.